Indieland is a yearly event hosted by the popular YouTuber Gerard the Completionist and the Open Hand Foundation, which is a charitable organization that honors the memory of Gerard's mother, Karen, Kareen, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, Gerard, and her battle with dementia. And during Indieland, all proceeds from the event go towards dementia research and helping those who suffer from it. Indieland is a lot like the Steam Next Game Fest, where it showcases a lot of upcoming indie games for a wide variety of genres. This also offers a good insight from a lot of developers and even has a lot of demos available on Steam. It has a stream happening from October 27th to the 29th over on Twitch, but I wanted to highlight a handful of demos that I tried from the IndieLand Spotlight tag on Steam and talk about them. And of course, if you want to donate to the Open Hand Foundation or learn more about it or learn more about IndieLand as a whole, all the links will be in the description right down below. So now let's get into talking about some indie games. The first demo I tried out was called Anton Blast, which was created by the team Summit Spear. And they have one other game called Anton Ball Deluxe, which looks inspired by a bunch of classic arcade games. Now, Anton Blast looks and plays very similar to Wario Land games on the Game Boy, which seems to be an inspiration for more indie games nowadays like Pizza Tower. In Anton Blast demo, you can play through two levels, both levels quite long for what they are. And once you reach the end, like a classic Wario Land game, you need to go back through the level in under a certain amount of time. You have a lot of great combat mechanics with spins, slide attacks, and a nice jump with your main attack to get some extra height. And this game just felt like a fun time for me. But I really liked Wario Land games growing up, so I might be a little biased. It doesn't have a full release date yet on Steam, but really, this game was really fun, and I look forward to hearing more about it. The next demo we have, which is the shortest one I played by a mile because it only lasted about 10 minutes, is Big Boy Boxing. It's being developed by Soup Masters, who don't have any other games yet, but this game in my short time felt like a a great homage to classic punch out i've never played any other punch out games minus the original one but in this game you duck dodge and throw some punches it was only a five minute tutorial like i said with one fight but that one fight was fun i'll say and it's a game i look forward to hearing more about and will 100 percent be playing when it releases like all of these games next we have a game i was pretty excited for as i've had my eye on it for a bit and it's a game called elsie it's developed by night shift games and i will say this demo was a little interesting firstly it seems to be an action platform roguelike that has some Mega Man-esque combat with everything tied behind energy. What was weird is that the first part of the tutorial changed every single run, and every change was telling me about a new mechanic of the game. But they weren't anything special. It was the basics like jumping, then they taught me how to dash, and then the next run was a ground pound-esque move. I'm not sure why this was the case, but even with the weird tutorial, the game as a whole felt a little clunky to me with animations and combat. UI as a whole was also a little confusing, and sometimes pop-ups for controls never really appeared. I do think this game has a lot of potential is there's a lot of fun upgrades and the enemies were quite fun to fight and the level seemed a little challenging but this one could be a little while away before we fully see it but still it's a game to keep your eye on especially if you're a fan of roguelites next is a demo that i'm gonna say is a little interesting now, when i saw this game i had to instantly try and it's ollie frog toad skater it's a name it's really what you would expect from a cute skateboarding game the demo gives you four levels with one level being a tutorial and one level being a classic arcade challenge where you need to collect things and get a high score in two minutes and i got a score of a million but it did bug out, which is why. I stink at these skater games, but I loved Tony Hawk games growing up. And it's one of those games I'm fine with stinking at, as the movement in these games is what makes it fun, as I cannot skateboard in the real world. But overall, this game has a lot of customization for a demo, and a good amount of variety of the levels for a demo compared to Big Boy Boxing, that's for sure. But if you're someone who's craving some classic skateboarding games and don't mind being a cute frog who can land some sick combos, this is a game you'll need to keep your eye on. Just watch out for a couple bugs here and there, as it's a demo. Next, we got a game from the developer development team Octosoft and it's a game that's actually quite fun and it's Renane. It's a 2D action platformer about an immortal knight going on an epic quest. Hey, that's what Steam says. But I'll say this demo was quite charming and showed a lot of promise. Inside the game you play as a knight and you travel through different areas collecting secrets, fighting enemies, and doing a lot of quests. In the demo alone I found a handful of quests to do and some of them are quite simple and easy but some of them require going out and finding items. Just talking to the characters would get you these quests and most rewards for these quests were emblems which are items you equip that give you small buffs. Inside the combat though, every enemy drops coins and you want to collect as many coins as possible as a lot of items are on sale and even fast travel points will cost you money. It seems like this game also has some magic system with weapons, but I never got that far in the demo. I really only fought one major boss, which was a good fight. This game somewhat reminded me of Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap at first, but after the demo, it really left a good impression and stands out on its own. The soundtrack is also fantastic. If you're itching for a fun 2D platformer, I say mark this one down on your wishlist because I'm 
excited to hear more about it. Next is the only game that actually is fully released in this video, and it's one I've had my eye on for a bit, and it's Robodunk. It was released September 25th and was made by Jolly Punch Games. I was intrigued by it mostly because it's basketball, and after playing the demo, it's, uh, something I'll say. The controls feel a little off at times and take some time to get used to, but you have to pick your own path, and each path seems to be a 2v2 basketball game where dunks are the only way to score, and the higher the jump, the more points your dunk gets. All robots seem to have abilities as well and different stats. After a game, you earn some money that can be used to unlock new stats, and based on where you pick to go, you get upgrades that last the entire run for your the demo let me play about three games and by the third game i was getting pretty good but so was the computer as their ability was insane but if you're looking for a game with quick runs fast action i'd say at least try the demo out it's a pretty good time especially if you're a basketball fan now for the final demo in this quick video that i played it's another game that caught my eye instantly and it's victory heat rally shakedown that's another great name. It looked really fun as it's a colorful, fast paced, no items racing game and the demo has a good amount to offer. But I'll say the demo started off horribly as you had to set your own bindings with the controller or keyboard and I didn't really like that as it got messed up a little bit. Once I got everything sorted, the game ran fine and felt good. But the demo allows you to play through the first main world it seems with about five levels filled with races, a time trial, and even a grand prix. And after all that is done, you can play all of the racetracks in an arcade mode or time trial it seems, but the racing controls fine and the levels are a little basic at first but i could see myself picking this game up and doing a playthrough of it once it's released it's a fun little racing game also the death screams are hilarious And those are some indie games you probably never heard of. Steam Next Fest is also happening right around this indie land time, and I could make a video having 50 indie games if I had the time, and it's always a great way to find a lot of indie games that have demos available, but still, this feels like a nice quick list of games that you should try out. Also, make sure you check out the Open Hand Foundation and donate if you can. All that extra support really does help a lot. And check out the Indie Land stream at the end of the month in October. If you're watching this past October, you can go check out the VODs, but still check out those indie games. Shout out to Gerard the Completionist for actually showcasing some indie games and giving them some extra spotlight as they deserve it. And yeah, that's all. See you next time.